Okay, so we are learning the song Something Just Like This by Chainsmokers and Coldplay. It is a really fun song. It does have a couple of interesting parts to it, so let's break it down to begin with. So this is in the key of D. So there are two sharps. We have D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D again. Those are the notes. And um, there's only three chords, well, three basic chords that we're playing, which is G, A, and B minor. That's a little bit weird. Um, normally we talk about the chords of a song as being one would be D, two would be E minor. So we have um, four, five, and six minor. Um, and we have variations of these chords throughout the song. And as you play your own arrangement, um, you can also make up um, arrangements for that. I'm going to be showing you a couple of things on guitar. Um, actually, baritone ukulele, which is super similar to guitar. Um, so here, if you're a beginner ukulele player or guitar player, um, possibly your G chord is easy, your A chord pretty easy, um, B minor might be a little bit difficult. Um, so you can change this song into the key of G, which is only one sharp, but what it does is it allows us to change the chords to C, D, and E minor. C, D, D minor, D, C, D, D minor, D. When we are talking about those instruments that have a limited range and you are going to be playing the melody, um, we're going to have to get a little bit flexible. So a couple of places he jumps up an octave during the doo doo doo. He jumps up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do -do -do -do. That might be hard for a recorder, ocarina, um, different instruments like that, um, and for some singers. And then it um, it starts. Um, been reading books of old, the legends and the myths. That's a really low note, and so you're gonna have to figure out a better placement for that. I wouldn't go up an octave. Been reading books of old. You could if you want. I just go back to that same note. Um, been reading books of old. Instead of going, been reading books of old. It still works with the chord. Um, it's just a variation, a harmony. So um, as you find in different songs that you can't reach the correct notes because of something like that, um, find variations like that. It's going to sound better for your instrument. It'll still sound a correct for the song. Um, the only reason you wouldn't want to do that is if you're singing, if someone is singing with you and they're trying to follow every single note you're doing, it would be confusing, but um, that's not something as a beginner you're probably going to be um, needing to do. So if you are singing and you're having a hard time with this key, you can either find variations like I said, just showed you, uh, like when he goes up really high, just stay normal. Um, or you can change the key like I did to the key of D, I'm um, sorry, the key of G, um, which drops it down quite a bit, but it's a pretty big range anyway. So um, I would suggest trying to sing along with the recording and just find where that fits in for you. Um, when you are recording this um, later on for Instagram and you're a singer or a solo instrument, like a recorder or a ocarina, you have a couple options. You can just have the actual song playing in the background. Um, you can find someone to play a background track with you, or you can just go online and find a karaoke version 
and play along with that if you want to. Like this is just for fun. You don't have to worry about copyrights and stuff. You're not going to be making money off this or anything like that. So it's just for fun and there's no legal issues with um, playing your cover of it. For everyone else who are instrumentalists, um, if you are playing a rhythm instrument like guitar and you're not going to be playing any melody and you're not going to be singing, then you're going to want to find something that has the melody so people know what the song is. So you may want to just play along with the actual song like we already talked about. Um, or something else, find someone to sing with you or something like that. It is difficult to sing and play at the same time. So I do applaud anyone who does that. And then for everyone else who is just literally making their own cover of the song, what I don't want you to feel like you need to do is make it sound exactly like them. So um, let's actually look at the song. So once again, the chords are G, A, B minor, A, and then G again. Now, if you want to keep this super simple and make it the easiest possible, just do two beats for each one. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, these chords um, may sound better if you want to spread it out into a power chord. So you're le instead of the normal chords go one, three, five, and a power chord cuts out that three. So let's drop it down here. They sound good down here. really drives the bass note which is a huge part of this song and having all the, the third in there sometimes clutters it up a little bit um, or you can add the third with your right hand if you want um, a lot of the song though that a chord is a little bit off so uh, let's see what it would be like so it would be if we're doing um, ukulele or guitar um, it would be one, two, and then the A chord comes on the three and. So like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. So one, two and. One, two, three and is the A. So one, two, three and four and. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. So, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. That A is just delayed a little bit instead of doing one, instead of doing chord one, two, three, four, they're going one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and, and different times in the song, it'll, um, it doesn't do that exact rhythm the whole time, but that's another variation you can add into it. Um, another thing that I didn't put in because it's very specific to the arrangement that they are doing is, um, the, after the song and chorus, we have um, a bridge part that they're doing. Um, I'm going to give you a little, a little trick on this. So for so for pianists, I'll show you. So with their right hand, they're having an A and D, and they're holding that down for all the chords. So. That's easy to do for pianists because you can do the right hand, those two notes, and the left hand with the rest of the chord. Okay, and then for ukulele or guitar, we're gonna hold down we're gonna hold down the one, two, three, four, fifth fret on the E string and the third fret on the B string and then you just do the bass notes of the other one. So So 
So it would go open with those and then second fret here and then fourth fourth fret here. Um, if you want to do that during that interlude part, those two notes are really ringing out. All right. So once again, I want you guys to um, have fun with this, make it your own, make it work for you. Um, a, a lot of people have the misconception that they are going to do it right or wrong. And we're doing a cover. We don't have all the instruments that the Chainsmokers and Coldplay are using. We don't have the same exact voice that um, Coldplay has. We don't have all of that stuff. It's not gonna be the same. Um, with me just playing piano or a different instrument, it's gonna sound completely different. It's still the same song. It's my variation of it. And it's something that you have to figure out what works for you and have fun with it. Enjoy playing this song. Don't try to be the chain smokers. Unless, of course, you can accomplish that. And that's awesome. Um, I think someone who's extremely well at doing that is Weird Al. Weird Al Yankovic. If you haven't heard his stuff, then, then look him up. He does parodies. So he's crazy um lyricist so he just changes all the words and makes it something ridiculous and funny and but still matches really well with the original words and then he plays the songs and they sound so good um and they really make you remember the real song quite well um that's just one of his talents that's not one of mine i like to play things the way i play them and that's why I do it. I think most musicians, that's why people want to hear them. They want to hear them. They don't want to hear the regular song exactly, or else they would just put it on their phone. Anyone can, it's so easy to access the original versions. When we want to hear someone play something, I want to hear them. Okay, so I do want to say a little bit about music at this point. And one of the things I want to say is, yes, you can learn it. You can sing that song. You can play that song. And how do I know? If you have the desire and you're looking into trying to learn a certain instrument or sing a certain song, then just having that desire is proof enough to me that you can do it. Now, that may seem a little far-fetched, but I've taught, like I've said, hundreds of students music one-on-one uh, -on -one and thousands online and the one thing I've seen is yes people with more natural born talent learn things faster but in the end the person who wants to learn it will learn it we are born with music inside of us and just learning the actual basics of it you know what the chords are what the notes are how to actually put your fingers on the keyboard or how to actually sing the notes. Those are things that we work at and we practice at. And yes, those can take time like anything in life to learn the way we want and to have come out correctly. But can you or can't you do this is not a question. Yes, you can do it. I guarantee that if you want to learn a song or an instrument, then you can do it. Now, what are some steps to get there? Our mindset is our biggest benefit and our biggest flaw for a lot of people because we have so many things going through our mind about um, your fingers are too small, you can't play the keyboard, oh, you can't sing that song, you're a baritone, not a soprano. You, you know, all of these different things that people will say and usually people are saying things because of two reasons. One, they have a deficiency, as in they couldn't do something and they don't believe that if they could do it, then you could do it. And the other thing is from a authoritative standpoint where someone has played something for years and years and years, you know, a professor and guitar or something. And they've studied so long that they say, 
if you're not a certain talent or whatever, then you can't do it because they worked really, really, really hard to get where they are. Now, both of those things is about them. It's not about you. And you should view it that way. The only one who knows you best is you. If you believe that you want to try something, you want to learn it, and you're willing to put the work into it, then you can do it. And it starts in the mind. A good exercise to do if you're having problems with this is to sit down before you want to learn a song or an instrument and just take five minutes. Close your eyes. Picture yourself playing that song perfectly. Now, if you don't know the way the song sounds completely, you're going to have to listen to it more and learn it more so that you hear it in your head you can sit down and picture yourself playing every single note of that song perfectly and in whatever situation you want it to be. If you want to do it on top of a mountaintop, um, I'm sure you've seen some of my videos of me playing all over different mountains in, you know, in the White Mountains of New Hampshire and stuff. Or if you want to play in front of a crowd, um, an example that I would give up myself was when I was um, 11, I started some piano. And when I was 12, I really wanted to play for our um, church group. We had a midweek service where they'd sing some songs. There aren't really many people there. And I really wanted to play for that. Now, I wasn't very good at the time. And I really I had a very understanding group, which did help. But I just kept working on these like three songs because that's all I needed. So I worked and worked and worked and worked and worked until about half a year later, I could barely play those three songs good enough, but there wasn't many people that week and they let me play for it. And then from there, I was like, I can do this. That was when it finally clicked for me that yes, I decided this and I can do it and I'm going to be great at it. And I worked and worked and worked and now I played for uh, a group of over 6,000 people before in a band and I was playing the keyboards for that. So you need to set a goal for what you want to do, see yourself doing it, know that you can do it and work towards it. Now, what happens to a lot of people is they start working at it, they visualize what they do and then they get to their instrument and it doesn't sound the way they want. Now, of course, this is happening. You're working at an instrument. You're going to have to make that curve of getting better and better, and that's not going to happen overnight. So how do you keep that confidence, that vision of you playing it correctly while you're learning? Well, you have to understand the process. You have to know that those finger exercises you're doing are helping you out. You have to know that the vocal exercises you sing are helping you out that the music theory that you're learning is helping you understand better so it's easier. Um, every single time you do chord exercises for the guitar, that it is getting better and you're getting to that place where you're gonna play that song exactly how you hear it in your head. You have to know that what you're doing for practice is getting you there. And through that um, acknowledgement of that you're doing the correct things, and if you're taking the classes that I have, these are step-by-step -step how to do it. The exercises, the music theory is all in there. You know that this is the correct way to learn how to play the song, and you need to just work at it. And as you work at it, um, comes our next big tip. A lot of people can't see their own progress. I'm really bad about this where the second I learn something, I feel like, oh, I've known that forever. When in reality, I have gotten a lot better in one aspect and I see, I don't see that I didn't have it before. So um, what you can do is the first time you pick up a song, so um, something just like this, the song we're working on for this month, the first time you play it or the first time you play it today, just take out your phone and record yourself playing it. Now, it's probably not going to sound exactly the way you want because you haven't learned it completely the way you want. So just play it through. Try to make it through as best you can. It doesn't matter. And no one should be seeing this except for you. It's just for your benefit. And then keep working at it. 
don't record it again just leave it the way it is and then a week later after you practice all week long we'll watch that video and play it again and record it again and compare the two and you're going to find that you've improved a ton and keep working at it and that should build confidence now the first time you played it it's normal that it didn't sound great don't feel bad about that at all just look at that progress that you made and know once again that you are getting better that you are progressing the way you should be progressing Sometimes it'll be frustrating and you'll get hung up on certain things and just move on to other parts and you will keep progressing in all areas if you keep progressing. You keep working at it, you keep doing these exercises. And then when you get it really, really good, you record it again and once again, just compare those two and see that you are getting better every single time. Now don't delete that first video because you'll find throughout the year certain songs um you'll start getting better every single time that you start a song so you'll find that the first time you started this song this month you were really not that great let's say and then by november december of this year the first time you play the song you're going to pick it up faster and faster so you'll even be able to see how that progression is working with the amount of time it takes you to learn each song so that is your tip for practicing. So record it right now to see where you're at. And then we are all going to play it and post it on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm going to post on my Facebook page, which um, you can also share it through Facebook if you want, or just do Instagram. And um, we're going to do it on the 29th. I'll send out some instructions right before then to what hashtags to put and to tag me in it so that we can actually all see everyone's um, recordings and how great everyone's doing. And the whole purpose of this is so that we can encourage each other and to see how um, you are progressing yourself. It's a big step to record and have anyone else see it. And you don't have to leave it up there forever. We're all gonna listen to it um, on the 29th and then if um, you don't want to leave it up there, you can take it down later or whatever, but just getting it up there, seeing how people um, enjoyed it and to see that you can actually do it and do a good job with it is going to be a great experience for everyone. So keep practicing this, have a lot of fun with it, do the very best you can. And uh, once again, I'm going to send out something at the very, um, right before like the week before uh, you're supposed to post it to tell you exactly how to do it so that we all post it on Instagram and can see everyone's stuff. Have fun with this. Um, next month, I'm going to try to get out the song a little bit early because I'm going to have um, a Valentine's Day song. So hopefully you can learn it before the 14th to play for your special someone. My plan is to do Can't Help Falling in Love with You. Um, that was made popular by Elvis. But it has been re-recorded by so many different people and is such a basic song that it will be a lot of fun with a lot of these different instruments. So um, I hope you guys really enjoy that. So keep bringing on this one. We'll post it all together. And then once again, next month is um, Valentine's Day. So we'll be first playing it, hopefully for your significant other, and then post it for everyone later on in the month. All right, uh, if you have any questions, probably the easiest place for everyone to post them would be in the comments section under this video on YouTube, and then um, other people can answer them if they want. If not, um, I'll try to get to as many as I can. So, all right, um, have a great day and hope you have a fun time practicing this song.